Hi, I'm having problems starting my ride on mower. It is a Greenfield Tractor 11. It has got a carby, a fully charged battery. I don't know how to get it started. Please help. Most of the time when this happens, it is because there has been gasoline left in the unit while it was being stored. Gasoline cannot be used if it is over 30 days old. If this is the case, then the old gas will cause the carburetor to be gummed up and will not let enough fuel into the engine to run. You can see if this is the case by taking the air filter off of the engine and putting a very small amount of fuel directly into the air intake. Then try starting the engine. If it fires and then shuts off of if it starts, then you will know that the carburetor is not working properly. If this is the case, then the carburetor will most likely need to be cleaned and rebuilt with a complete carburetor repair kit. If the problem is that the engine will just not turn over and acts like the battery is not charging or the starter is not working, then the problem is usually that a safety switch is not operating properly or is bad and needs replaced. Sometimes you could have a bad starter solenoid or even a starter switch that is bad, but usually the problem is a safety switch. Sometimes it can be just a connection that is dirty and is not making contact. Let me know what you find out and I will be glad to help you more if needed. Just contact me here at this question and I will reply to you as soon as I can. If you need any more help with this, you can contact me here at this question. Even after you have given me a good rating. Please leave a good rating for me as that is the only way I get paid for my time. You may also consider sending a bonus if I have been helpful. If you cannot give me one of the highest ratings, then please do not rate me at all until we discuss this answer further and you are happy with my answer. Our chat has ended, but you can still continue to ask me questions here until you are satisfied with your answer. Come back to this page to view our conversation and any other new information. What happens now? Or, you can reply to me using the box below. I have checked if it's getting spark and it is. I will remove all the fuel from tank and carby etc. I have got a new air filter coming that I ordered, but, what do I do with it? Does it need oil or anything in it? With the carby it has a thing on the bottom you have to twist. How do I know it's right? Always replace the spark plug with a new one first. But, as I said before, it is most likely that the carburetor needs to be taken off and cleaned and rebuilt with a complete carburetor repair kit. Just draining the fuel tank and the carburetor will not likely fix the problem, but you can try it. First, I will send you the complete carburetor and gasoline answer that I have used. Here is my comprehensive carburetor and fuel answer that may give you some ideas. As engines sit or get older, fuel that is left in the carburetor can turn to gum and varnish and cause this and other problems. Also, any gasoline that was left in a gas can for a period of more than 30 days must be discarded because it also has begun to turn to varnish. Today's gasolines contain MTBE and alcohol. Ethanol, they turn to junk and garbage very quickly. Alcohol is partially water, H2O. And they call it oxygenated fuels. It is the oxygen that breaks down the organic compounds in the fuel and turns the gas to garbage, gum and varnish. The fuels we had just a few years ago had no alcohol in it and would store for longer periods of time before going stale. And fuel stabilizers do almost nothing to prevent the fuel from going bad with the changes in today's fuels. Do not buy gas from the discount stations. The discount stations get a reduced price on gas. Because they may be buying fuel that is nearly 30 days old already. 
you may be getting fuel that's nearly stale right from the pump when buying from a discount station. Purchase your fuel from the well-known stations such as Shell, BP, Sunoco, Philips 66 etc. More than 70% of all of our repairs in our lawn mower business are due to this same issue. You most likely have dirt, gum, varnish dot etc. in your carburetor plugging up the small passageways and jets in the carburetor. The carburetor must be removed from the engine. Clean all parts with carburetor cleaner and blow out all the small holes and passageways with compressed air. Remove all of the non-metallic parts since the carburetor cleaner will cause them to be disfigured decompose and plug the carburetor as time goes on. Wash the carburetor cleaner off of the metal parts by washing them in warm, soapy water then rinsing with clean water. Dry them by blowing it off with compressed air. Make sure that all the passageways are blown dry before reassembling. Reassemble using a new carburetor rebuild kit. Do not try to reassemble without using a complete carburetor kit. You will just end up having to do the job again. Always clean the fuel tank and replace the fuel line when doing this repair or you may have to do it all over again. The inside of the fuel line disintegrates over time and these small pieces of rubber will plug up the carburetor too. Dirt and water from a dirty fuel tank will also plug up the carburetor. Find the model, type and serial or code numbers off of the engine and take them to your local dealer to get the carburetor repair kit. If you do the work yourself, take pictures or at least make a drawing of where all the linkages, gaskets, and component parts go. Correct reassembly is critical. If the carburetor still doesn't work correctly, you may have to take it to someone who has an ultrasonic cleaning machine. This machine uses carb cleaner and ultrasonic vibrations to get the very small passageways clean when traditional methods fail. Here is where you can get an inexpensive ultrasonic cleaning machine http colon slash www.harborfreight.com slash catalog search slash result Category equals and Q equals ultrasonic plus cleaner If you don't feel comfortable with this kind of repair I would suggest sending it to a reputable shop. Here is a carburetor rebuild process. First make sure that you have the correct complete carburetor repair kit. Now take special care when you take the carburetor apart to make sure that you watch and remember exactly how the gaskets come off. There are two types of carburetors. The float type carburetor and the diaphragm type carburetor. Below is the information for the float carburetor. The diaphragm carburetor is very similar except that you need to remove the diaphragms and replace them. They will also have a needle and sometimes a seat that need to be replaced as well. Remove the float pin. It just pushes out dot and remove the float. Carefully. So you can see how the float needle is attached. Some of them have a small wire spring holding it to the float dot. You will have to reinstall this spring when you reassemble the carburetor. Remove the float needle. Next dot remove the float valve seat. Look around the carburetor and see if it has a small idle adjustment needle dot remove this needle if it has one. You are now done disassembling the carb. Do not take anything else out of the carb. Get a good carburetor cleaner dot preferably with a small hose you can attach to the nozzle of the can. Spray the carb cleaner all over the outside of the carburetor. This will loosen the dirt on the outside while you clean the inside. Now spray the cleaner through every hole and nook and cranny you can find on the inside of the carb. When you are finished with the spray, blow all of the passageway clean with compressed air from an air compressor. Also blow all of the dirt from the outside of the carburetor. Next. Take the entire carburetor to the kitchen sink. 
okay maybe it would be better to get a big bowl dot so you don't make your wife mad dot and wash the entire carburetor with hot soapy dishwater. This is to make sure that all of the carburetor cleaner is completely washed from the carb. If it is not, you will deform the new gaskets and such that you install dot even if it is dry, now rinse in clear water and then blow the carb dry with the compressed air again. Reassemble the carb using the identical parts out of the carb kit as you took out. Install the float seat, then install the float needle and the float in the same position that you took them out. Check the float level after it is installed, making sure that when the carb is upside down with the float in the up position, the float should be nearly level with the body of the carburetor. Now reinstall the bowl gaskets the same as you took them off. Then install the bowl nut with the small gasket under it. Reinstall the small idle needle if it had one. There, you are done. Install the carburetor on the engine and you should be ready to go. If you need any more help with this, you can contact me here at this question. Even after you have given me a good rating. Please leave a good rating for me as that is the only way I get paid for my time. You may also consider sending a bonus if I have been helpful. If you cannot give me one of the highest ratings, then please do not rate me at all until we discuss this answer further and you are happy with my answer. Ranwell 1413260393176389 Hi, I am a bit confused as to why you would first give me an excellent service rating and then later as I tried to give you a more detailed set of instructions, you would give me a bad service rating. Please let me know what the issue is and allow me to discuss it with you to be able to help you get your equipment going. Sorry, just disliked it cause it didn't work. But, I got it working, turns on now, but when I go up a hill, forward or reverse, it turns off. If the carburetor was not completely cleaned and rebuilt with a complete carburetor repair kit, this is still most likely the problem. If it was done correctly and it still acts up, you may have a problem that is not related to the carburetor. You may have a safety switch that is not operating correctly. Let me know exactly what is happening and what you have done and how, and I will try to continue helping you. I didn't touch the carby, last mower I touched and it didn't move again. I only played around with the choke and throttle, works good until I go to go up a hill. If you do not feel that you can rebuild the carburetor yourself, then I would try using the mechanic in a bottle that I described above. This will usually fix the problem. Try that and let me know what happens. If that doesn't fix the problem, then you will most likely have to take it to a good repair shop to have the carburetor rebuilt. Good luck. Okies. Good luck. No need to reply to this lost message unless you want more information. If you do, it locks me up until I reply back to you. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.